everybody what's up it's kiki and i'm coming to you guys today with some new hair i was sent some hair from princess hair shop and not only do i have new hair but i also have a closure something i've never done before so i want to thank jada for getting this out to me and letting me experience what a closure was like um this is brazilian natural wavy and i have in a 20 inch an 18 inch and more than half of a 16 inch and then a 14 inch closure so yeah i didn't use all of the 16 inch bundle um the hair is in its natural state except for the ends i used the curling one on the ends just to give it a little definition um, it's been three days i bleached the closure and i used miss bossy lives method from beginning to end um she was very her video was very very helpful um, I watched the first one where she showed how to bleach the closure and then I watched the one when it showed how to remove the brassiness. Now I followed the first um, video step by step and I still my closure still had a lot of brassiness to it. But once I you know washed it with the shimmer lights shampoo, I got majority of the brassiness out. It still has some brassiness to it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But, I mean, it's working. Um, I tried to do the makeup trick. My makeup, is, I guess, what I have is too red because I have red undertones. So, it made it look brassy again. So, I had to wash it. I've washed this closure probably 20-something times, to tell you the truth. Yeah, uh, probably more than that. So, um, and I didn't get any shedding from the closure at all. So, I thought that was good. Um, this is my first time ever experiment with a closure or anything. I've never done anything to a closure before. So, and all in all, the finished results, I think I did a damn good job. Um, the bleaching, I, I did great in my opinion because it only stayed on the knots. It didn't, you know, spread up until the roots of the hair. So, I was like, hey, I did that. couldn't tell me nothing even though it was brassy as hell you couldn't tell me nothing i did that okay she did that i sold it onto the dome cap um i was i was scared of the closure at first i, I was like i'm just gonna make a u-part and then later on down the line i'll do a closure but as i got to the top i was like let me let me just put it on and see how to look so i sold the closure down on the dome cap once i got you know up further up far enough with the wefts and um, I sold it down and it was looking nice. Once I tried it on, I was like, okay, this might actually work. So I finished up the space with the 16 inch and then tried it on. I was like, I think I did a damn good job. Now I was gonna put, um, I was gonna put a fabric underneath the closure, but the fabric I had didn't match my skin tone. So it was still looking off. It was either looking too light, too red, too, something just not my skin tone so i just put it on the cap as is now it's still it's on the dome cap so it's dark it's a black cap but i think it looks good to me y'all let me know what y'all think i think it looks good to me um i wanted a deep side bang y'all know i'm still trying to get that malika hake and making good old look her old look So, I don't know. I, I'm liking it. So far, I'm liking it. I wore it out when it was two nights ago. or not, Yeah, two nights ago, I wore it out. And I was like, hmm, okay. Because I, I was like, Ugh. I don't know if I'm ready to wear it out. And then after I wore it out, I was like, I don't know if I can wear this, you know, dress down. Like, on a regular, everyday. But, it's working. I actually like it a lot. So, I'm not saying I'm gonna be all the way team closure but I'm closures right now so okay that's enough of the closure now the hair is very very pretty I love the texture of the hair it is a different texture from the Brazilian hair that I've tried it is more of a Malaysian and Brazilian mix to me because that's what it feels like to me but I like the texture um it has a nice healthy sheen to it it's not dry looking it's not overly high in luster or high in sheen so 
I like that. It is a 1B2 color. And yeah, pretty much okay. It has a nice natural wave to it, a loose natural wave. I did attempt to curl it with my new, the big Remington curler one, but I don't think I like that one so far. Because it I've seen people when they talk about how the Remington curler one dries their hair out, and the big one did that. The small one never did that for me, but the big one did it. So I was like, mm-mm, I don't like that. So I you know, re-wet my hair and then just curl the ends up with the small rims and curly one. That's it so far. I really can't give you much on the hair. I just only had it in for a couple days. But so far, so good. I really like it. Um, I will continue to update you guys. I will leave the link below to Princess Hair Shop. Um, I'll keep you guys informed and can't wait to, you know, play around with the hair, with the closure and see how I really, really like it. So, um, it's not glued down or anything. And this thing is so snug, like it ain't going nowhere. All, I didn't need bobby pins, but just to be on the safe side, I put bobby pins so that it doesn't slide back, which I haven't been experiencing anyway. It hasn't been sliding back even when I don't have the bobby pins in it, so that's good. And I don't have any glue. And that's another thing that's good, so I'm really, really liking this so far. So, yeah, I will keep you guys updated. I love you guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.